one of the biggest things we're losing in society is we're losing the warriors in society. Now, that yeah. does not mean that, you know, we're going to war and we're fighting people, but it's the way you train and the mindset you bring and the way you approach life. And, you know, that is, you know, when a man can do that, it's when you, you reach kind of the, the optimum level of what you could be, what you're meant to be. 100%. I mean, you're going to receive a knock at the door. I don't care who you are. It doesn't have to be with bullets. I think mm -hmm. that we need to get past that. I mean, my mom's been diagnosed with stage three cancer. This morning, we get a call from Ashley's parents. Her dad's uh, cancer's back, and they've got to take his bladder, right? Sorry Our son's all, Yeah, no, I, it, it's life, right? Yeah. And, and I appreciate you saying that, but, you know, our son's autistic. He was diagnosed with that in January. Uh, you know, the car's going to break down. Shit's just going to happen. And, and yeah. the, the fact of the matter is, you know, in January, and I'm so fortunate to have the greatest network in the world in Somme, you know, but that week when Landon was diagnosed autistic, Jeremy, and our dog passed away after 17 years, put our dog down the day after Landon gets diagnosed with autism, your wife, my wife, doesn't know how to handle it at this point she's trying to figure it all out i was doing power cleans in my garage getting ready for murph my murph my 24 hours of murph and man i literally picked up a box put a box over my head and screamed in it and then walked upstairs into a spare bedroom and wrestled with pillows and drop kicked them mm. the point i'm trying to make there guys you know who you know and to the listeners out there is this it's it's okay to admit stuff like that, but you have to be able to go to a place like that. So a warrior, he's going to fight how he trains. And, the, and why I say that is this, is that I have a place to go. I have a place to put it out there. I have a place to work through it. I have a place to be able to identify, is there self-doubt creeping in? Am I self-deprecating? You know, the number of things that, you know, men deal with, right? But because in the future, there's going to be another knock at the door. Don't know what it's going to be. I don't sit there and focus on it because that just creates fear. Mm -hmm. You know, so as a warrior, it's your responsibility to train physically, mentally, emotionally, intuitionally, and spiritually. So that yeah. you are ready for when the fight shows up at your doorstep. And, and and it will, and the fight's going to be different types of fight, right? It's going to be, you know, you know the, the 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 problems you said that came up for you. It's going to be the things that happen in your life. It's going to be political change. It's going to be 100%. social change. It's going to there's different types of fights that come, and if you do not prepare for your fight, it doesn't have to be a physical one. Then you're you're never you're going to be taken down by those things. Hundred percent. Yeah, and I get that's why I was basically given that context about January. It'd be mm -hmm. totally different five years prior not having the the solid brotherhood that I do have, but also the training that I have under my belt, and I would have responded emotionally. Yes. And that's the other thing that I see a lot of st right now. Men are responding emotionally to everything, triggered by everything. You know, it, whether it be the news, politics, whatever. A dangerous man is a man that can harness his emotions. And now yeah. when I say dangerous man, I mean that in the most positive sense but i see more men who just they let their emotions control them and emotions will kill you at the yes. end of the day they really will they make you weak unless you know how to use them